Okay, now let's check my greenhouse. Yeah, so finally I can leave the door open and it's really warm in here. So right now we have 32 degrees Celsius. So now it's time to plant the tomatoes, but first I have to move out some plants. The artichokes have to move out and the onions as well. And yeah, now let's move out the plants and do the final planting in here. Oh, this by the way are peppers, which I have bought because my own peppers look like this. So for this year I could not, you know, grow any peppers. I made a lot of mistakes, but I've learned a lot and next year I'm going to do it better. Okay, so here I have some Melophria plants and I want to plant them into a bigger container, this one. So these are still small and they have to stay inside of the greenhouse. Okay, here I have some cocktail tomatoes. They're going to be yellow and I've sown them myself mid-March. So now it's time to plant them. Some of them have rooted even below the pot, so it's really time to plant them now. And I'm going to start with the yellow ones here. And this one goes here. And that one, I think it's the last one of the yellow ones, goes right here. Okay, so that's it for the tomatoes in this raised bed. Ah, wait, here's another tomato. I almost overlooked it. So this one I'm going to plant here. So these should all be yellow tomatoes, cocktail tomatoes. Okay. What else do we have here? Hmm. Okay. The next. I have more tomatoes. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> this one germinated directly in the ground, so I'm just going to leave this one. And this is tomato Hellfrucht, so it's just an ordinary tomato. And here at the back side I have some different tomatoes. This is the Resi, and these three I'm going to put on the other side. Okay, this one goes here, and that one will go here, and this one will go here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's just a weed. Okay. All right, so now let's plant these tomatoes and then we will see what we do with the other ones, if we have enough or not. This here is a zucchini and I'm going to plant this outside. Okay, here's something that I want to show you. This is a perfect example of a plant shock. So a couple of like days ago I was transplanting the celery from here to there. And when I was doing this they were about this big. So now they are not much bigger and in the meantime the rest have grown very high. So this is the effect of a plant shock. So if you are transplanting some kind of seedling into another pot it will have a shock and stop growing for a while. And yeah, now actually these ones are looking much better and this is what it's called a plant shock.
I have two yellow peppers and one I have already planted in the small waste bed and the second one is going right here. Okie dokie. The onions I'm not going to plant here. I'm going to take them home to my mom. And now I have a couple of things left to plant. And this is how the raised beds look like. So now I have a couple of pepper plants left. And I want to plant them outside of the greenhouse. Right here. I have one tomato plant left, which I want to plant outside, right in the corner of this raised bed. So a little bit of this arugula salad has to go. I just rip it out. Okay, so here, I have planted my last tomato. In this corner it's protected by the wind but it's still outside so it still will get some rain and I think it's really cool because with this plant I can then compare the growth and the harvest to the plants inside of the greenhouse. So this is actually a good comparison test. Okay next I want to plant my bush beans. So in here I have some beans which I have pre-germinated. This is it. And these ones I just want to plant in a row here. And they actually don't need a framework, so you can just plant it into the soil and it will become a very bushy shrub and it will stay in the ground and then you can harvest your beans. So you should put them into the soil about one to two inches deep okay and this by the way is how the beans are going to look like in September so I really love these ones and they taste really good okay and now in the small container I want to sow some lettuce seeds again and actually we are eating a lot of salads So this should be enough. And one of the most important things with lettuce is that you don't want to cover the seeds because they need light to germinate. So if you want to cover them, just do it a little bit, but not too much. Okay, this is it. Now my tomatoes have something to climb up to. All right, this is it for today. 
and as you can see I do not have a lot of empty spots anymore so my race beds are actually pretty full and in between the potatoes and the eggplant I have sown some carrots which are now coming out and yeah this raised bed is full as well here I have a little bit of an empty spot and my greenhouse looks really nice now so I'm very happy that now I have finally planted my tomatoes and the tomatoes by the way I have sown myself so these are my own and the only ones that I bought are the peppers so I'm really happy with what's going on in my greenhouse and I really can't wait to grow some tomatoes to taste the first tomatoes of my greenhouse yeah well it's going to take two more months so I still have to wait and with these I don't know I don't have a free spot anymore so this is it guys and I really want to thank you for watching and before I end the video I just give you an update of my bee hotel so only four holes are taken by some bees and actually I cannot see any bees like today I saw only one so I'm really waiting for them to move into my bee hotel and yeah if you're wondering what size of hole is the best it's actually the seven millimeter and the eight millimeter hole so this is where they have laid their eggs into so this is it for today and i really want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time